It's a breeze bay. No. <laughs> Okay everybody, time now for another start of fresh new game show runs, in which this time I picked Jeopardy for the Sega Game Gear. Let's see how my luck turns out in this game. Hey Pebbles. Spins cat in the background. And Ben and Jay are here on Skype joining in as I take on Gale. <laughs> and our categories are sports trivia, sevens, inventions, time, landmarks, and presidents. I'll take sports. Okay, sports trivia for 100. Foul name for three strikes in bowling. What is a turkey? Sports trivia for 200. President who was known to telephone advice to NFL coaches. I think I know, but I'm not sure. Richard Nixon. Oh, and that was my hunch, but that's okay. I'll take the $300 clue in sports trivia. Divided into body and hip types, it's a legal it's a legal bump in hockey. What is a check? All right. Sports trivia for 400. Joey J was the first major leaguer who played in it as a child. I'm going to say what is the little league. I'll say what is little league. I got it! Yay! I'm glad I rang in. And I'll take the $500 clue. In 1924, this Norwegian introduced the miniskirt to figure skating. Who is Sonja Heaney? Yeah. All right, I will now take sevens for 100. <clears throat> the Uncola. What is seven up? Sevens for 200. Baseball's coffee break.
That's the seventh inning stretch. Oh, thanks, Ben. Seventh inning stretch. I'll go with that. Yep, that's right. Thank you. Sevens for 300. In the title of the 1954 film, seven brides were found for seven of these. What are brothers? Sevens for 400. The Observing the Sabbath on Saturday, these Christians believe Christ will return in person. Who are the Seventh-day Adventists? Here we go. Sevens for 500. Actor who was behind the seven faces of Dr. Lau. Who is Jay York? <clears throat> that is incorrect. My butt. Is incorrect. <laughs> Just kidding. Tony Randall. All right. Next one. I'll take inventions for 100. Daily double. I think I'll bet the farm. 2300. Mr. Watson come here was its first message. What is the telephone? Yeah! Inventions for 200. In 1836, this painter invented the telegraph. Who was Samuel Morse? Inventions for 300. Many dimmed their lights in tribute on the day this inventor was buried. Who is Thomas Edison? Inventions for 400. <clears throat> for his corn harvester, Henry Blair was the first to receive one. What is a patent? Inventions for 500. The president who invented the swivel chair and lap desk. Who is Ben Spindon? 
Bongo. <laughs> Just kidding. It was Thomas Jefferson. <coughs> Moving on. Time for 100. In England, it's traditionally 4 p.m. What is uh, tea time? Yeah. Tea time for 200. The shadow cast by a gnomon marks off the time of on one of these clocks. Oh, a sundial, and that was my guess, but I wasn't sure. It's all right. Time for 300. Clock with which Roman senators timed speeches, often adding dirt to make it drip more slowly. I think it's an hourglass, but I'm not sure. Water clock. Okay, good thing I didn't ring in. Time for 400. Estimates of this human time period range from 25 to 30 years. It's the first time we hear from Gale this game. Ah, she got it wrong. A Z W X Y Z, that is incorrect. A generation. Oh, yeah. Time for 500. It's the song Walter Houston sang, or when the happenings will see you. It's the song Walter Houston sang, I should say. Gale. September. Yep. Landmarks for a hundred. The world's largest office building, named for its geometric shape. What is the Pentagon? <clears throat> All right. Ta um. Landmarks 200. Defaced by sand and invading armies, it crouches near the Great Pyramids. The Sphinx. Landmarks are 300. <clears throat> His statue is atop Philadelphia City Hall. <coughs> Who's Benjamin Franklin? Oh, it's not him. Oh, well. Oh, William Penn. Oh, okay. Landmarks for 400. Francis Unknown Soldier lies beneath this Champs-Élysées landmark. What is the Arc de Triomphe?
Landmarks for 500. The date on the tablet held by the Statue of Liberty. July 4th, 1776. That's okay. Presidents for 100. The only president born in California... <clears throat> Who is Richard Nixon? In 1924, we kept cool with him. Who is Calvin Coolidge? from Kennedy to Carter served in this branch of the military. What is the Navy? Four hundred. Alaska and Hawaii became states under this president. Who is Dwight David Eisenhower? Last clue before we go to Double Jeopardy. Assassinated president buried in Canton, Ohio. Who is William McKinley? Pika Rupa. Ow. I can't get away with that one. <laughs> So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have seven thousand three hundred dollars, while Gail has only a hundred. Where are we starting, Gail? Bodies of water for two hundred. Country which contains the Hudson Bay. What is Canada? Bodies of water, 400. Swiss city at the southwestern tip of Lake Geneva. What is Geneva? Bodies of water for 600. Home of poets William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and Robert Southey.
The Lake District. Okay. Bodies of Water for 800, please. The only continent touched by the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. What is Antarctica? <clears throat> Bodies of water for a thousand. This 1813 battle gave us the quote, We have met the enemy and they are ours. What is Waterloo? Battle of Lake Erie. Oh, okay. What other categories do we have? Did we have besides Body of Water? Bestsellers, art, ten letter words, utilities, and TV trivia. Bestsellers two hundred. She's the author and subject of First Lady from Plains. Who is um uh Rosalind Carter? Bestsellers for 400. He wrote Sophie's Choice. Who is Corey Lawrence? That's obviously wrong. Let's see if Gail knows this one. <laughs> she doesn't know. William Styron. Oh, okay. Best for 600. This beloved novel won a 1937 Pulitzer Prize and became an acclaimed film. What is Gone with the Wind? This movie title is taken from the name of the book Gone with the Wind. Mr. Connery. Titles, Mr. Connery, not titties. Oh, not the fan of the ladies, are you, Trebek? <laughs> not a fan of the ladies, are you, Trebek? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Dolly Parton. <laughs> Best sellers for 800. The first president Theodore Wright wrote, Theodore White wrote about the making of. I think I know, but I don't want to ring in. It would be too obvious. Gail? John F. Kennedy, so I would have been wrong. Best sellers for a thousand. Author of Tough Guys Don't Dance, he fears his notori notoriety has diminished his book sales. Norman Mailer. Oh, okay. Art for 200. Pope Julius II ordered him to paint the Sistine Chapel. Who is Michelangelo?
The name for the Virgin Mary in many paintings. I think I know, but I don't know for sure. Gail. Oh, the Madonna. That was my guess. Oh, well, that's okay. Still have a big lead over Gail, so I'm not too worried. Art for six. This part of an egg is combined with pigment to make tempera paint. What is the yolk? Art for 800. Born on Crete, Domenico Theotocopoulos was called this by the Spaniards. What is El Greco? And if that is correct, that's going to put me in the five figures at over $10,000. $10,100. Art for a thousand. Rodin sculptured tribute to eggheads. What is the thinker? Ten little words for two hundred. Wrinkled or furrowed as cardboard or iron. Gale. Corrugated. Ten little words for four hundred. Mercy killing. <laughs> Euthanasia. Oh, okay. Ten letter words for six hundred. Daily double. At record companies, it's what the R in a and stands for. Repertoire. She wagered $943. She has $2,043. And we continue. The other daily double. In Latin, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa is for an example. It's a clension, and she wagered $624. Bringing her down to $2,667. And we continue. Ten other words for a thousand. From German for rear, it's the region behind a coast or remote from other cities. And this is a ten letter word. What is Bika Rupa? No, it's the hinterland. Utilities for 200. Utility employee Ed Norton on TV's The Honeymooners worked there. Sewers. <laughs> Sewers. All right. Utilities for four. Both the U.S. and Canada draw electricity by harnessing this natural wonder on their border. What is uh, Niagara Falls?
I'll take, um, utilities for 600. The two utilities in Monopoly are the electric company and this one. Oh. Oh, I think I know it. Ah ha ha, Gale doesn't know. I'm gonna say one of the waterworks. I should know that. Should have known that because I play Monopoly. Uh, it, you told me it's 800. This massive structure makes it possible for Las Vegas to be brilliantly lit up at night. What is the Hoover Dam? Hey Jay. Yes. Damn. I'll be damned. Yeah, from Beavis and Butthead to America. <laughs> Damn. I'll be damned. Utilities for a thousand. And who just tried to call me? I'm gonna take take a look real fast. Somebody just tried to call me. Oh, Garrison. Well, I'll get him in here. Hang on. Is it okay if I add Gary to the call, guys? It's fine with me. All right, let me get his butt in here. <laughs> If he'll answer. All right. Ah, call fail, but he can come in whenever he wants. Utilities for a thousand. The world's largest landfill, receiving 22,000 tons of garbage daily, is in this New York City borough. What is Koopa Land? I know that's wrong. What is Aubrey Stop. taking a bath? That's what I did earlier, Garrison. <laughs> but right now we're playing Jeopardy for the Game Gear. I like Game Gears. Yep, TV Trivia, 200. We're in the final category in Double Jeopardy. Vicky Lawrence became a Jeopardy contestant on this sitcom. What is Mama's family? Big Mama's house. <laughs> She's a brick. Do 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 do. House. Commodores. Yeah. One of my favorite singers was actually a member of the Commodores. Lionel Richie. How'd you guess? Because I know he was a part of the Commodores. Yeah, and oh. Lionel Richie's one of my all-time favorite singers. Yes, I do have a couple stuff by him. Kill. TV trivia for 400. Do happen to have. He went from the Ponderosa to the Prairie. Who is Michael Landon? Uh, let me take a look who I got. I got Lionel Richie's uh, Can't Slow Down. I got Truly on Single. And I also got... Um, oh, hello, on Single. Oh, hello, that's a good song. Yeah, I got that on single low, truly, and his uh, record, like I said, can't stop, can't slow down. And, and I believe hello was on, yeah, hello was on that, so, on that record. In 1970, he had a good time hour. Do you happen to have, uh, do you happen to have Stuck on You, Garrison? Stuck on You, the record, oh, let me take a look here. Uh, the record stuck. The song's on the record. Yeah, that's that's my favorite Lionel Richie song. Cool. Glenn Campbell. Eight hundred, please. Truly's my favorite. Jackie Gleason show that rejected the titles "The Lovers" and "The Couples Next Door." The couple next door. What is the Honeymooners? Oh, that movie. Well, it actually used to be an old TV show back in the fifties, uh, I think. Oh, I never. I haven't really seen that show. I never saw it either. I just heard of it. When you hear the name Jackie Gleason, you know of the Honeymooners. Oh, Jackie Gleason, I know him. Yep. 
Yeah, you used to be my next door neighbor. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> now the last clue before we go to Final Jeopardy, and it looks like it's going to be a runaway game. No. This oh. lawyer made mincemeat of Hamilton Burger in court. Who is no. Perry Mason? No. 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 Oh. Oh, oh, can I at least yeah. can I at least get oh, a next? Yeah. Uh, I can't really say it out loud because I got a headache today. Next. You got a headache. Yeah, for the past two days. Fifteen thousand three hundred dollars. Final Jeopardy. Well, every man, I'm telling you, it has been very cold up here. I mean, these past few days, literally, it has been ridiculously cold. Category is World Cities. How much do I want to risk? I think I'm going to wager $51. Do you mind if I set this out to anybody watching this? Go ahead. To the people in the Buffalo, New York area, stay your asses home because it is cold out. And for the people down in New York City, keep your asses home because it's supposed to be pretty bad down there in, uh... The uh, main part of New York City and the uh, eastern part. So people in New York City, for that blizzard, keep your asses home. That's all I gotta say because Aubrey, if you haven't heard, it's supposed to get pretty bad in the East Coast thanks to Chaplin. You know. It's the most populous city in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> and it just keeps going. I'm gonna say what is Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah, Aubrey's supposed to get pretty bad. That's not good. No, it's not, man. It's Mexico City, so I got it wrong. Oh well, I don't care. But that's okay, I still get to start a run for this game, nonetheless. But I get to start a run with $15,249, that's not bad. And I'll see you all for that next video coming soon. I got it! Yay! I'm glad I rang in. And I'll take the $500 clue. In 1924, this Norwegian introduced the miniskirt to figure skating. Who is Sonja Heaney? Yeah. All right, I will now take sevens for 100. <clears throat> the Uncola has a check. All right. Sports trivia for 400. Joey J was the first major leaguer who played in it as a child. I'm going to say what is the Little League. I'll say what is Little League. Sports trivia for 200. President who was known to telephone advice to NFL coaches. I think I know, but I'm not sure. Richard Nixon. Oh, and that was my hunch, but that's okay. I'll take the $300 clue in sports trivia. Divided into body and hip types, it's a legal, it's a legal bump in hockey. What is it? 
It's a free space. I want that Copa. No. <laughs> Okay, everybody, time now for another start of fresh new game show runs, in which this time I picked Jeopardy for the Sega Game Gear. Let's see how my luck turns out in this game. Hey, Pebbles. Spins Cat in the background. And Ben and Jay are here on Skype joining in as I take on Gale. <laughs> and our categories are sports trivia, sevens, inventions, time, landmarks, and presidents. I'll take sports. Okay, sports trivia for 100. Foul name for three strikes in bowling. What is a turkey? <laughs> 